Here are seven tips on how to buy land in Kenya. I played it in a sense, a feel of discontent. I'm finally facing it all. Fearless. Number one, identify the land. Of course, when you're buying land, you go see you want this particular piece of land, you want a red a, maybe a land in a place where there's red soil where there's black cotton soil it's your choice so number one is identifying the piece of land number two is number two is hiring a valuer listen to me and listen to me very well when i i bought my first piece of land i remember very well i was i had just completed ampas and my 24 year old self went around asking for advice from everyone and of course all the agents out there who are selling land are going to tell you oh i'm the best buy from me come just bring the money we we we, we close this deal but guys be very careful when you're buying land because there are people out there who are out to 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 con you the valuer is going to do the following for you one he's you're going to give him a copy of the land of a copy of title of the land you you intend to buy which you'll of course get from the seller from the seller he's going to take the toll to the land registry where he's going to carry out a search this uh, basically what the search does is, is it verifies the, the that the person who gave you the title is the owner of the land after carrying out the search can find out whether the the land is charged what do i mean by charged checking whether the owner has has used the land as security for a loan that is what we mean by saying if the title is charged and also he'll get you all other documents related to the land uh, these documents are two number one a map and number two a mutation mutation is also a map but a map that's sketched by the surveyor during the subdivision of land. Let me show you what I mean. This is an example of a mutation. You see, it's just a rough sketch. I don't know whether you can see it. And then this is an example of a map. And you can see it has a signature right there and a stamp of approval will verify the acreage of land for example little being sold for two acres of land he'll ensure it's two acres and not 1.5 or 1.45 you get me number three is negotiation and agreement on payment that is whether you're going to to pay long term or short term if you're paying on short term basis you're bound to get a lower price than if you're paying the piece of land over a longer period of time whether you're dealing with an agent or you're dealing with the owner from here on you're going to proceed in the same way you're going to 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 go to step number four which is signing a sales agreement normally the sales agreement is drafted or written by the advocate of the seller and verified by by your advocate so get yourself an advocate who will read through the the sales agreement and ensure everything in, is in check again this is very important you can start you can proceed to signing the agreement number number five making a down payment most of the times uh down payments are are 10 percent of the whole amount so you'll make a down payment of course ensure that you're given a receipt once you make the 10 percent down payment now the the owner or the agent are going to start the transfer process from their name or whichever name the title is under to your name so this transfer process normally takes around three months so after three months uh this we, we move on to step number six and i advise you after 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 three months go back get a copy of your title 
from the agent or from the owner after they have transferred because they will not give you the original copy of title when you you've not yet completed payment give it to your valuer to go and verify whether now the land is in, is now in your name and this is very important then after you've verified that if you've carried out a search and verified the land is in your is now in your name you can go ahead and pay the, the remaining 90 percent you can either do it yourself or if you're buying a, a huge piece of land and there's a lot of money involved you could you could engage your advocate